The Caribbean English Creole is a nuanced language of its own. Just like English, it has its own set of rules and creative elements which makes it interesting. In the Caribbean, we use so many creative words for expressing how we feel. In Jamaica, we call cheating bon. But did you know in Guyana it's called blue? And in Trinidad, it's called horn. The more I study languages, the more I appreciate my own and others around me. Even though Caribbean countries may use different words at times, Caribbean Creole has a common structure regardless of which Caribbean island you're on. So for the most part, that is why Caribbean people are able to understand Creole whether it is Trinidadian Creole, Guyanese Creole, or simply whichever Caribbean country you're from. Let's take these two sayings for example. In Trinidad, they say, cockroach have no right in fall party. While in Jamaica, they say, cockroach no business in a fall fight. In both cases, we mean mind your business. See, both sentences look and sound fairly similar. And that's all due to the grammatical features of Caribbean English Creole. Let's look into each. First, let's talk about zero copula. In zero copula, we omit auxiliary or helping verbs from sentences. When I say auxiliary verbs, I mean words like is, are, was, were, have. Look at this example. Some of them big. If we translate this sentence to standard Caribbean English, we would have some of them are big. See, the helping verb are should be between them and big. But by using zero copula, we take it out completely. Next, unmarked count. We use the singular version of nouns to indicate their plural. Let's put this into context. A Jamaican who has never tasted a mango before may ask a friend, You like mango? The friend may reply by saying, Yeah man, mango sweet. Here, both friends are referring to mangoes in general, not a specific mango. But still, they use the singular mango instead of saying, Do you like mangoes? Yes, mangoes are sweet. Now let's look at unmarked action verbs with reference to the past tense. In Caribbean Standard English, we use markers which indicate which tense we are using. However, in Caribbean Creole, these markers are sometimes omitted. Take this scenario for example. A child, maybe around the age 4 or 5 years, is in his room, you know, all good, unbothered, say playing video games, alright? His younger sister, about 2 years old, runs into his room, slaps him, and sprints out. He runs behind her crying. His older brother then asks, Warm to your brother? To which he replies, She lick me. <laughs> no, being Caribbean, you know his brother going to say, Hey, youth, fix up your argument. He gets it, of course. So still hollering, he says, She slap me. See, lick and slap does not have the ed to mark the tense but we know this happened before he reported his sister in standard english he would have meant she slapped me apart from taking out tense markers completely we sometimes add preverbal markers to indicate tenses for example a mother asks shirley you do your homework yet now, there are many responses which Shirley could use. Me been or been a do the homework, which means I have been doing the homework. Me ago do the homework, which means I am going to do the homework. Me did do the homework, which means I already did the homework. Me I do the homework, which means I am doing the homework right now. We often omit the voiceless TH sounds from words ending in TH. So, for example, a stranger offers someone a ride to which he reply or she replies. 
I'm not going to wear with you. This person said with instead of with. The same is true for words such as fifth, where we often say fifth instead of fifth. The use of double negatives. In the previous example, I said, I'm not going to know where with you. By saying na, meaning not, and nowhere, instead of anywhere, I would have added a double negative to the sentence. Another example could be, me no want nothing for drink. No and nothing, again, places a double negative in the sentence. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found this information helpful and informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. As usual, if you're hearing this, that means you've made it to the end of the video. Congratulations! My name is Kamuli, by the way. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.